been a long time, guys. This is Do at Do Dots and Designs. If you're just catching me, come on, say hello. I'd love to know where you're coming from. And if this is your first time watching, I am a decorative furniture painter. I love to create beautiful things. And tonight, I need a little paint therapy. I have been away from my office, away from painting for like a week. I've been on a really large job doing photography and I just got back in uh, late Saturday night. So uh, catching up on the business end of it, but tonight I wanted to come on and paint a book. Hey Tammy, how are you? Good to see you on. I thought I'd come on and just paint a book. I posted Saturday night when I came in, I was gonna paint a book and somebody messaged me and said, why would you paint a book? Why are you gonna destroy a book? And I'm like, no, 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 we're not gonna destroy a book. Hey Sandra, hey girl, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, <coughs> pardon me, I still have this cough. I've got leftover flu stuff going on. But um, no, what I like to do is I'll take a book. <coughs> pardon me, I'll try not to cough on you guys tonight. I like to take books. I like to take um, old cabinet doors. I like to take anything that's flat and I'll paint it. And not just paint, but I'll actually use it as like my... Uh, practice I guess you would call it um, because this can mimic a piece of furniture and you know when you're you have a piece of furniture and you're sitting down and you're painting it you're not always um, just know exactly what you want to paint right sometimes you're like uh, I don't know what color I want maybe I want this maybe I want that but you don't want to waste your paint because you spend a lot of money on your really good paint so you would rather just kind of test it out and let me tell you books and cabinet doors are perfect for this. Um, does anybody else feel me out there? Do you understand? I mean, when you go to paint, you're like, I don't want to waste my paint. If I don't like it, yes, you can paint over it. But who wants to do that, right? So practice. Practice on a book. Practice on something. So tonight we're going to come on and we're just going to we're gonna play around. I'm going to paint this book. So <coughs> I have some new paint in the house, guys. Some new paint. I have some. I've got some Dixie Bell paint. Who out there is, is familiar with Dixie Bell paint? If you know Dixie Bell paint, you've ever used it, give me some hearts and some thumbs up. I would love to know you're on. But I have been playing around with this paint for probably the last month or so, and I really like it. So I've painted a couple pieces of furniture, but it's also good for other than furniture. It's good for home decor. It's good for crafts. It's good for a lot of things. It's just a really good mineral-based, chalky-type paint. Hey, Shelly. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while either, honey. Okay, so let's get busy. I've got, look at all this yummy stuff I got. Look, I got lots of paint, guys. I got this. This is beautiful, and I think I'll use this tonight. It's a really dark blue. It's called Bunker Hill Blue. I think this will be really, really pretty on a book. And then I think I'm going to use this one too that I just had in my hand. And this is called The Gulf. Doesn't that look like the Gulf? It looks like ocean water. Isn't that beautiful? So what I'm gonna do, and I painted a book earlier and I'll show you. This is what I'm gonna do. I like to take the book and I paint it and then I shadow the inside of it. And I do that a lot with furniture as well is the shadow effect that you get in the middle to just kind of raise it and make it look a little different. So I painted this one. And what I'm gonna do tomorrow night is I'm gonna come back on and I also have chalk couture and I'm actually gonna put some chalk couture on a, book, on a book. You know, why can't you use an old book, repurpose a book that's been laying around that nobody wants. I have a whole bag of books that have water damage that nobody can use and they were gonna be thrown away and I rescued them. So I'm not destroying the inside of the book. The book is still fine. I'm just painting the outside of it for decor or for a sign. And I have a cute little uh, stand that I can set this in and paint um, some chalk couture on top of that and have a cute little sign, right? It's cute. All right, well, let's get started. I'm not seeing a lot of comments, but guess what? Hey, Shirley, I see you. Um, I'm out in the studio and my Wi-Fi is not really good tonight. We've got a lot of wind and a little, looks like a little shower or something that's coming up, so we might do that. So, okay, I have this book and it's blue already, which I thought would be perfect for the blue. So we're gonna paint this a blue. But before I actually paint the, the book blue, because I'm gonna paint the whole base of it, I'm gonna paint the inside first. We're gonna do a shadow effect, okay? So I'm gonna take this color, which is called the Gulf, and I'm gonna shake it up first. 
Dixie Belle paint, all you have to do is just give it a quick shake. It's mixed well and you can go ahead and use it. Okay. Get my brushes over here. Got a couple of brushes. I still love my Klingons. They're like my go-to brush. And Dixie Belle also has paint brushes as well. So I'm gonna use both of these tonight. Hey Colleen, how are you? Good to see you, honey. So let's get started with, we're gonna do the lighter first because we're gonna paint the inside of the book to kind of kind of make a highlight. So what I'll do is paint this tonight and I'll let it dry and we'll come back on tomorrow night and we're gonna do some chalk couture on these books. And I think it will be very cool. All right, look at that dreamy color, isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna take just a little bit on my brush. I'll try to get this up here so you guys can see this. What I'm gonna do is start with the inside and just kind of paint a circle on the inside. And you know, the good thing about these books when you paint these, guess what, you have two sides. If you wanna paint this side and paint a sign on it, flip this over, it doesn't matter if it's upside down, and paint the other side, you could put another sign, another saying, you could decorate it a totally different way, you could even paint it a different color if you wanted to, and change it up in your home decor. Everybody is using books now, books are just the rage in home decor, they're just, they're just really, a good inexpensive way to kind of zhuzh up your house a little bit. So I'm going to take and just put a little in the center, just kind of try to paint a light spot. The same way you would be doing if you were painting furniture. If you're painting a drawer or something and you want to highlight the middle of it, it's the same process. It's just this allows me to try out the colors and make sure that I like the way it looks before I actually put it on my furniture. So we can test out all kinds of colors on these and it doesn't really matter. Ooh, but I got a little, hold on. I got a little piece of hair in there. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. Like that off. All right, just use a little circular motion. I'll start in the center and then kind of work my way out. If your paint gets a little dry, you can always take a spray bottle with some of your water and you can mist it just slightly. Mm and you're gonna dampen it, and then your paint will flow again. Paint dries really quick. It's not, it's, you don't have a whole lot of time with this paint, which is good, because then you can paint more furniture, right? Okay. All right, so we got that in the middle. Okay, set this brush down. I'm gonna get a clean brush. Put the lid back on my paint. Has anybody else painted books before? Anybody else out there painting books? I love to paint them and stack them on each other and even tie them together, sometimes with raffia, sometimes with twine. It's just a really cool look. Please don't let me spill this on my stuff. Okay. Last week or week before last, I was doing this and I went to shake my paint up and I didn't have the lid on very good and it went all over me, all over the studio, all over the wall. So I'm a little shy now when I go to shake it up paint. Okay. Lid off. This is this beautiful, beautiful blue. Look at that. I love this color. It's gorgeous. Decided to put this on a piece of furniture. So you're gonna take this and then you're gonna paint the outside. You're not gonna tell a whole lot of difference with this because the, the book is already blue, but it will. This is just a brighter blue. And I go around the whole thing. Trying to think of what what kind of chalk couture I want to put on here. I have quite a few. Do I have any chalk couture fans out there? Anybody else doing chalk couture? Okay. I'm gonna paint the binder. And when you're painting a book, typically it's one coat. You don't have to do multiple coats. Um, and after I get it painted and it dries, I will wax over it because that's something you want to do for chalk couture too, is be sure that you wax over that so that your chalk couture doesn't peel your paint off. Okay. This is going to be really easy to paint because, like I said, the book is already blue, 
so it's not going to show a whole lot. And that's good. It's kind of drying up a little bit. I'm going to get some water and I'm going to mist over this. And that will help me blend. And I'm going to take, you can either take your dark or your light and do your blending. I think I'm going to use a little of both. I'm going to start, let me see. I'm going to start with my dark and I'm going to kind of work in. Let me get that water spread around. Just kind of blend it. And I'm going to kind of blend it in. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to get my other, the lighter brush. Let me spray it again. It's drying pretty quickly. Hold on. And you just kind of play with it. Get your colors together. Kind of blend them. It'll turn a different color, which is pretty. Okay, I like to bring some of that blue back in the middle. You may have to switch your paintbrush a couple of times and that's fine. But it'll make it kind of a lighter blue, if you can see that. This is just fun stuff, guys. You know, you don't have to worry about painting this and messing it up because it's a book. It's, it's, you know, it's okay. And I've got a couple of little, little brushes, strokes in there. Let me get those out. Okay. So let's clean that up. Get some more water on it because it dries really quick. You could use these uh, to practice your techniques for the drip, the drip techniques. It's super easy to do that too. You see how that's going? And those colors are kind of blending together. Pick up my light color again and just kind of play with it. I think I'm almost done. Let me put a little bit I'm going to dab a little bit more blue on here because it's getting a little light and I really want a little more blue. So you can go back in your paint and add more. It's just a process, guys. You just play with it. And this is, this is what is so fun about using this is that you, can, you can't mess it up because it's a book. I'm, I think I'm pretty close to being done with this. I don't want to do a whole lot more, but you can kind of play with it up and down if you want to at this point to kind of blend it. What do you think, guys? Just play. Play with it till your heart's content, until you're ready to stop. I kind of like the way that looks. I like it because it's kind of lighter in the middle and it's darker on the outside. I'm going to let this dry. And if you wanted to, you could take a heat gun and speed up the process a little bit, dry it really good, and then you can go ahead and do some other cool techniques. I think I will probably tomorrow night. I don't know if we'll do chalk couture tomorrow night. I may come on and show you how to do a little distressing with this. Not, not the typical distressing where you sand it, not the typical distressing where you wet distress it, but actually to distress it with actual paint. And that's where you'll take a brush and then you can lay on the sides and you can kind of make it look like there's paint underneath that have kind of chipped off. So I think that's what we'll do tomorrow night is come back on and I'll show you how to do that. It's really a cool, easy technique that you can do to furniture as well. If you don't like the distressing, the sanding, it's a lot of hard work. You can take your paintbrush and make it look a little bit like it's aged and distressed. So that's my book. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I'm going to pop off here and tell y'all to have a great night and we will pop on uh, tomorrow night, probably about the same time, nine o'clock ish, something like that. After I've got all my work done, and I just want to come and do a little bit of therapy. If you have any questions, or you want to know about the paint, uh, I'll put a link into uh, the uh, Dixie Bell paint. If you want to go and look at all the yummy colors, there's just tons. Hold on, let me see if I can find my. I have a paint here, and you.
you can see there's tons of colors that you can choose from and they carry a lot of different products and they also carry the patina paint which is really cool it's the old rusty paint and the copper and all that cool stuff so it's really super fun so I'm gonna let you go and we will be back tomorrow and we'll finish and do a little more painting on this book and I'll probably finish up another one and then do some chalk couture too just so that you get a little bit of it so y'all have a great night and we'll talk to you soon bye